Jill, have we got time to run through this script? Oh, well, if you're quick, I've just made a brew. Right, you're starting today. I wish Serena had said them words. Happy Friday, everyone. We are so ready for England's opening game tomorrow. And I am delighted to say that we are joined by a Northwest legend today. Jill, that's the nicest thing you ever said about me. Not you, her. This is Lionesses Down Under, connected by EE. E. Welcome back to Lionesses Down Under, connected by EE. E. Welcome, Georgia. Thank you very much. It's good to have you here. The Thanks excitement is me. definitely building. 24 hours to go until that first game for England, taking on Haiti. The excitement in the city is growing as well. I've been walking around. Fans are starting to arrive. Everyone is getting very, very excited for things to kick off for England tomorrow. And of course, that support, it extends to you at home as well. So make sure you get in touch, whether you drop us a comment, also any questions for Georgia, or use the hashtag lionesses down under we want to hear from you today as carl said 24 hours to go how are you feeling yeah very excited i think because we've been able to watch games on tv now and obviously we're the second day in i think it just gives you that little bit of taste that you just want to feel when you see them celebrating when you see them getting ready for the game like that feeling never leaves you like you you probably feel it now, don't you? And you're yeah. Just probably dying to get on that pitch. I think just watching kind of the games at all start, I think that's the moment yeah. where you're like, right, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. And we know you will be. <laughs> yeah, you'll be very excited. With this tournament, though, does it feel slightly different maybe to last summer, a home tournament for yourselves, and you've been involved in so many different tournaments as well. But this one, it's on a global scale. We're halfway around the world, Georgia. Yeah, it is mad. I think everything's just happened so quickly. So from finishing the season to obviously having a little bit of break to then coming back into camp, everything's like flown. And yeah, it's just been so good to be around the girls all the time and to just get that feeling. Um, but yeah, like you said, we're the other side of the world and we're still doing exactly what we love. And yeah, that's playing football. So it's kind of crazy where that gets you. Some decent finishers in there, Georgia. Look at that. Strike. <laughs> the lucky left foot. Yeah. <laughs> and just to clarify, we had to then sprint to the other end of the pitch. You weren't oh. celebrating, no. No, no you're not celebrating. <laughs> I had to clarify because a few fans were commenting saying she's still running when she's going to stop. But the actual drill was to, um, to have a shot and then yeah, sprint Ooh. to the other end of the pitch just to get our running in. Oh, and how's the mood been today? Obviously, training, match day minus <laughs> one. Is everybody chilled, excited? Yeah, we are. We're just so ready to get going. Yeah. I think we've been on camp like five, six weeks now already. Wow. Um, so yeah, we're just, that first game needs to hurry up. So wow. yeah, it's a matter of hours away. You just mentioned before that you've been watching some of those games. The tournament in itself has kicked off. Has anybody impressed you so far? Any players that you're looking forward to seeing more of? And as well, your game tomorrow. I mean, you must be raring to go. You just want to get those boots laced up. Yeah, I think the biggest thing was the fans. Um, they were just so loud in every single game. There's been a massive turnout in every game. Um, even today, there's been some surprise results with Nigeria and the Canada game. Um, so, yeah, I think when you come to a World Cup, it's anybody's. It's, everything's up for grabs because it's tournament football. So, yeah, everybody yeah. gives it beans. Georgia, you must be absolutely buzzing, though. You're forming the Euros and then taking that into Bayern Munich as well. Are you ready to show the world what Georgia Stanway <laughs> can do? Um, yeah, I am. I'm just, I'm happy with where I am individually. Um, off the back of the Euros, I managed to carry some good momentum um, into the league. And yeah, I'm just enjoying myself. And that's how I feel like I'm getting the most out of it. Yeah. Now you talk about momentum. That's obviously in your England career as well, because you're part of a special club, OK? A very exclusive club, a VIP club, a club that you can't buy your way into. I've been trying to do that for such a long time, all right. You've got 50 caps for England now. How does that feel? Yeah, unbelievable. Um, I think it's come faster than expected. Um, and that's in a way that I don't mean it to be like disrespectful, but I just mean as in, yeah, everything's happened in such a short space of time. And even in, like with COVID included, um, I've still managed to play and represent England more times than I ever would have expected to. Um, and yeah, it's the greatest honour to to wear the badge and that game especially I had my family in the stands um, unfortunate that we didn't get a win but yeah it's a day that I'll never forget Jill 
Talking about Georgia getting 50 caps, all right? You've yeah. got 150, yeah. okay? But you said that you got your 50th cap the same age as, as Georgia. Yeah, was. I actually did, 24. Um, yeah, and I think Georgia will go on to play a lot more times for no England. Way. I reckon she's <laughs> going to start her own 200 club at this point. No. Um, no way. But yeah, so we were similar ages. Well, exactly, actually, 24, but... Hopefully you don't look like me by the time of year. <laughs> I hope career. I do. You're gorgeous. <laughs> oh, thanks, The makeup's Georgia. helping a little bit. <laughs> I haven't got any makeup I don't know on. why you're laughing. <laughs> My makeup, is it working? No? Oh. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> so how have you been enjoying your spare time? I know once you've got to Brisbane, it's kind of like train and focus. You've got a game. But have you been up to anything in Brisbane? Oh, in Brisbane, we did the whale watching, Yeah, which was very cool. Um, we had a day out into like a little like surfing village oh wow um, which was a place called noosa and that was pretty cool just the amount of surfers was unbelievable um yeah literally took up the whole sea did you try it no no <laughs> well, that's not in the contract good answer um, what about uh, this though uh fishing have you had a chance to no to i've not you know no i mean no, i've not is that a real fish yeah it looks plastic <laughs> hey that's not far from where you live in really England. yeah I mean, wow. it's something that you love to do, but no, you've yeah. not, not got into the brown snake. For anyone at home that is thinking, what is that? It's the river that runs through. It's what the locals call it here. Uh, no, you've not got the no, uh, fishing rods no. out. Wait, to be fair, our hotel was on like a bit of like a man-made water area. Yeah. But we weren't allowed to fish it. Oh. No. Oh. I know. We've got a guy as part of our staff called Will, and he's a keen fisherman as well. So I was hoping to get out with him, but we Do you got just sit and talk about fishing? With, with Will? Um, we have done in the past. Yeah, we have done in the past. And there was at certain times when you could feed the fish. Okay. Yeah, so it was quite nice to just see how big they were. Aww. Do you sit with George and talk about fish? Well, I'm just George? thinking, how does that conversation go? <laughs> <laughs> I fish. Yeah, well yeah. done. I put it back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you say, how big? Oh, okay. What type plastic? of fish was it? Oh, right, okay. Well, what actually, did you catch it with? On this topic, now that you're talking about phrases, we had the legend, Laura Coombs, on here yesterday, and she had a question for you, maybe <laughs> about phrases. Let's have a look. Hi G, my question to you is, what's your favourite German saying? Ooh. Ooh. There we are, favourite German In German. Saying. In German? Yeah, we My thought we'd test you. German saying. And oh, please yeah. keep it clean, George, <laughs> all right? Please, all right, OK? Um, oh, well, that's a good a one. Phrase. Everything that I... That, my reply to everything is Alice good, which means, oh, good, everything's OK. You say that no matter how you feel, it's just yeah, say it all the everything. time. <laughs> oh, if somebody asks me how I am, what I'm doing, I'm like, yeah, all good. <laughs> oh, that's why they keep saying you're the best teammate. They're like, she's always in a great mood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not see anything else. <laughs> no, it wasn't just Laura who wanted to know uh, about your German phrases because Emily got in touch on Instagram to ask what your favourite word in German is. And as I said before, keep it clean. Yeah, right. it's, a, it's the rude ones come straight to your head when <laughs> yeah. somebody asks you Please, this question. none of those. Oh, I any... had a lesson yesterday, and even on camp. On yeah, on camp. Wow. Yeah, I need to try and smash it out because yeah, the click's not happened yet, and I'm a year in, <laughs> <laughs> and I've not got any better. But yesterday was body parts. Okay. So, well... Yeah, we went through the whole body. Come on, then give us some arm, <laughs> hand, <laughs> finger. What? It's the same word. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Oh. Okay. That sounds like Some a, of very, them are similar. a very tough lesson. Hopefully yeah. our questions will be a little bit tougher than that. <laughs> but yeah, speaking about Bayern Munich, obviously you used to be in away from home. We were talking about home comforts before and I said that when I came to Australia, I had to sneak some tea bags into my Ooh. suitcase. Apparently you're not allowed, so I'm hoping that customs aren't watching this. Yours were sealed though. So yours yeah, were the sealed. There sealed. we go, yours, yours were sealed. sealed. It's all right. That it's might okay. get us off the hook. Yeah. But what's your home comfort that you have to pack when you go away? Oh, that is a good question. Um, I'm trying to think what's even in my bag. I've got nothing exciting in my bag, to be honest. I've got a Tamagotchi. Oh, OK. What? Yeah. So my plan is, I'm actually going to start today, but I'm going to try and keep it alive as How long as I can. How do you even... Where... People watching this probably don't even have a clue what a Tamagotchi is, <laughs> all right, which is the saddest thing ever. That's a throwback to, like, my yeah. childhood right yeah. there. Yeah. You've got a Tamagotchi. Yeah, so my plan is, as, like, a little distraction from football is 
Can I keep my little pet alive? Oh, I bought one recently. I must admit. Where's everyone getting this from? I don't yeah. even know. But when I was younger, there used to be a pound, and they're about twelve ninety nine. Yeah. I forgot to bring mine to yeah. Australia, so it's probably died. Oh no, right. You can share Let's that. move on then. All right. We need to think of a name. <laughs> yeah, we'll think yeah, of Yeah, we'll think of a name. Uh, right, let's move on then. Lexi got in touch on Instagram to ask what's the most random thing you packed to bring, but I kind of guess it's got to be that. Yeah, that could be. I've also got a, an old Game Boy, you know, like where you've got loads of games into the... What? Yeah, like a Game Boy colour. Oh, yeah. Right, I'm you're bringing this down there. to reception, all right, <laughs> later, okay, because we can spend hours on that. If you don't want to be thinking about the football, we can play some of those games right there. I'm trying to think what other random things have I got with me. You're going, like, very retro. You're, like, taking yeah. it back to, like, the, the 90s. Yeah. I think feel like that's my era. Yeah. And I feel like even in, like, dress sense, that might be my era. Because a lot of people look at me and go, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is true. She's got like the skater shorts and stuff like that. She's Avril Levine in disguise, I think. Oh, really? Can you sing like her? If you want me to. All right, well, no, no. speaking about that, okay, and I've got some friends in some very high places, okay, and the team at Bayern Munich, well, I got in touch with them and oh, they sent no. us this clip because you're a bit of a songbird, so take a look at this. It's when the music goes off. Oh, no. Georgia, that is terrible. I actually can't believe that they're singing along with you, though. Right, so it that sounds a lot worse than it was. Oh, OK. Right, so I'll give you a picture. So we'd won the league. Us and the men's went to go on Marine Platz, which is like the balcony in the town centre. Yeah. And there was like maybe 20,000 people at the bottom. Then they go, Georgia, come on down. And I'm thinking, oh, God, I've got to ask some questions. Like, I don't speak German. So, like, I went down to the front and they was like, we're going to play your favourite song. And, like, obviously straight away, I knew it was either this song or it's coming home. So, this one come on and, yeah, I can't help but sing it. And I go, like, two lines into it. It's a mad techno version. <laughs> and the microphone, instead of going to the crowd or I couldn't hear it, went straight to the TV. Oh, no. So, I feel like there's a slight delay so the video's not actually doing me justice. Okay, I was oh, going to okay. say you're a bit off there, but maybe yeah. that's what it is. Okay. Yeah, it's not doing me justice. Obviously, it's not fantastic, but... <laughs> right, well, you've explained that one, okay? I mean, pretty brave. <laughs> what about this one? Because you're always singing in camp, Georgia. I think you will be riding for <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> <laughs> Well, oh. we thought there might be a career for you in music after football after seeing these videos, so we thought we'd put a little MTV spin on it. Take it away. Right, so this has actually been a running joke for the last weeks, Kay. is... Zell's always on the music and I'm always singing. So I've told everyone that after my career, I'm going to do a tribute. I'm going to be like a tribute act okay. for Nickelback. Oh, wow. All right. Interesting. So obviously I need to make it happen and need some backup dancers. I need some confidence and maybe some lessons. Right. Yeah. Now, Nickelback, I'm thinking, I mean, Lauren Hemp plays the saxophone. Mm, not a saxophone in there. Hannah sure. plays the piano. Yeah, Hannah can probably turn a hand at a lot of instruments. Okay. Yeah, okay. She's really yeah. good on the piano, yeah, like is. really good. This is because yeah. I was listening to Jill's podcast, so I've got all this insight, all right. Yeah. Give it a plug. Give Kira it a plug. plays the cello, or she did when she was younger. Not I sure think. on yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure when on that. When she was younger, apparently. I was saying, imagine Kira carrying that around. She'd be like, <laughs> bloody cello. She probably went to one lesson and yeah, sure never went that. again. So are you saying that you're the best singer in the camp then? Yeah, 100%. Oh, wow, I like that. Of course you're saying that. Of course you're saying that. So I was going to ask you what you would have been if you hadn't have been a footballer. And I got asked this question before, and I was actually thinking a barber. Now, I know you're looking for a haircut. I need one. I need to practice. <gasps> so will you let us just have a little go? Come on. You put me on it's the gonna spot It's going to go there. one way or oh, the other. Oh, my gosh. You put me on the spot. Um, if I was you, I'd say a big fat no. OK. When England win the World Cup. When England win the World Cup, we will... Oh, oh, <gasps> can you get a buzz cut? I will get... I'll let you... Oh, my gosh. You can, you can give me a fade. You can give yes. me a fade. Yes. 
Georgia. Might as well just go all off. She's not going to be able to fake. If, it, if I go all off at the age I am, I don't think it's coming back like this. <laughs> all right, Georgia. So I'm not getting it. I'm not getting a buzz cut uh, right here. Okay. Let's move on. All right. Uh, <laughs> Panicking uh, already. Have you have you said what you've? No. Let's move on. Yeah, yeah. What's your What's occupation? Oh, I always said that it would have to be something like sporty or something where I couldn't sit down. Yeah. So I always, when I was younger, liked the idea of like army or RAF or. Oh, okay. Yeah, police force, something like that. Wow, I can see you as a Georgia army figure <laughs> coming to stores near you. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to produce it for me? Yeah. There we 20%. go. 20%. When we was in the youth age groups, we went on like a cadet training. So like we went for like a week with the RAF and just like did loads of the activities. And yeah, I was in my element. Oh, not going to lie. There we are. Fishing, all these activities. Just outdoors. Well. Outdoors. Yeah, right. Oh. right now, Georgia, we get this question a lot from the fans and I've seen it coming through quite a bit as well. Thank you for getting in touch, all of you guys. Make sure you continue to use the hashtag Lionesses Down Under. Now, a lot of people watching are obviously aspiring footballers. They want to play with you at some point and play against you and play for England, hopefully, as well. What advice would you give to everyone out there? Um, the best advice that I got was to not take things so serious so like sometimes you just have to take the pressure away from things take the expectation and you get more out of everything when you're enjoying it and when you're playing with a smile and that's actually something integrated from jail is yeah just to you know how good you are and you're here for a reason so wherever you are enjoy it because that's when you get the most out of it and if you do fail at something yeah jail was always the first one to say do it again do it again you missed a shot she'd tell you to do it again so yeah, because I knew she could put a top corner like against Spain. Yeah, of course, See? yeah. There even you though you, you were shouting, "Don't shoot!" Yeah, yeah, yeah don't shoot! Everyone in, <laughs> <stadium, laughs> in the stadium shouting, "Don't shoot!" Oh, yeah. Leah came up to me afterwards and she said that obviously I got the ball and I started dribbling, and then she went, "Come on, George, like make this moment count." And I said, "I don't know if that was like belief or not." <laughs> <laughs> Have a microphone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think she said it under breath. <laughs> now, Georgia, we know a person who's played a big part in your career is Amanda Goodwin from Blackburn under 13s all the way to first team. Hi, Amanda, you okay? Uh, well, hi, everyone, and thanks for having me on the show. And yeah, Georgia, as a player, as, as a young child, was, was very driven. Um, she challenged me a lot as a coach, and um, I'm not too sure what um, some of the words she said before, but she def definitely challenged my coaching. She was very driven, committed. She was always there first with a ball, picking up a ball, asking, can she do shooting? All she wanted to do was shoot and score goals, and <laughs> it kind of obviously showed through, through a queer career of some of the goals she scored, but... She was certainly one of the most driven players I've worked with. Um, she was such an outstanding footballer and she just wanted to get better. And it shows now with the position that she's in and the caps that she's worn. And she's just a superstar. And I knew right from the start, from when I met her at under 13s and she got stamped on. I remember a story. She got stamped on her hand and I took her off and she wouldn't speak to me probably for a week after that because she hadn't scored 10 goals. But I think she scored six goals that game. Oh, Amanda, I've got to ask you, was she as gobby as she is now? <laughs> oh, I was always cheeky. Um, <laughs> yeah, you've just Well, it yeah, she's just stated it right. She was always very cheeky. Um, she was, she, I wouldn't call her gobby. She had a very good personality. Um, she was, she wanted to be a little bit of a centre of attention, I must say, in, in some aspects, probably still the case now. Um, but no, she had... She had a real good character and I think that's what stands Georgia out and that picture in the background is is, is a team, team building exercise we <laughs> did. It's a team building. <laughs> Now, we're looking at a picture, as you can see in the background, and we had it up before, and literally, Jill was like, is that Toonie as well? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, obviously... If you showed her that now, she would be mortified. <laughs> no eyebrows, no eyelashes. <laughs> oh. uh, I mean, is, it amazing? is that one of the things you were talking about before, going away and doing the activities, George? Um, yeah, I think this was just like a team-building thing that we did in Manchester. Um, but I think I was just an outdoorsy kid, and I still am now, I was just straight into everything, whether it was football, whatever sport it was, whatever activity it was. Um, and I think it helped with where I was from because, yeah, in the Lake District, there's more sheep than people. <laughs> Barrow to Bayern. Yeah, yeah. Barrow to Bayern. From Barrow to Brisbane. Oh. There we go. Oh, oh she, she's trumped you oh. there. She's like, that's better then. We you know what? That took us all night to think of as well. All night to think of. Is Amanda still with us? 
I think so. Um, if she is, Amanda, I've got another... Well, I want to talk about the caps because you just mentioned there how many caps she's got. 50 uh, for England. How proud are you of that? Because that's such an achievement. But yourself, all the other staff that were at Blackburn as well, we've just mentioned Tooney as well there. I mean, you've been a part of so many incredible footballers' lives. But to see what George is doing, it's amazing. Yeah, I feel really proud and obviously lucky to work with players like Georgia and, and Kira along the journey. But just to play a small part in their journey, knowing that they're going to be superstars and obviously Georgia getting 50 caps, there's no doubt where there's going to be a lot more coming down the line. And it's just a really proud moment. And I always speak to Georgia and she's really humble around her grassroots and the club that she grew up playing for. And not only me, but the players and, and the staff that have kind of helped Georgia on her journey. We're just really fortunate we had Georgia at Blackburn and she's she's a superstar and she won't mind me saying it, but she always only wanted to score goals. She was annoyed with me if she didn't score goals and if I took her off and she didn't score a hat-trick, she'd be still annoyed at me. Um, no matter what, what we did, Georgia was the most driven kid, but yeah, a really joy to work with. Don't worry, I learned that as a teammate when she wouldn't pass the ball, <laughs> ever, ever. Are you telling me to shoot? <laughs> Amanda, where are you going to be watching the first game? I'm actually going to my friend's baby shower. So the oh. the thing that I said to her is the game must be on. So, yeah, I'm going to my friend's twins' baby shower, but the game is definitely on with my England shirt and I'll be supporting everyone. Oh, brilliant. Well, thanks so much for yeah. calling in, Amanda. We really nice appreciate it. Thank you. Nice to see everyone. Bye. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Oh, it's amazing. It's so good to get all of those messages, to speak to people, the support from everyone back home. I say this every single time. We are so far away from people, but you can still feel all of that support. And it's not just friends and family that are supporting as well, because we've got the England men's team getting involved too. Here are some of them and some snaps of these guys wearing the women's kit, all right? I mean, getting their model on right here, Looks George. It's better, doesn't it? I know. It's, it makes I love them all it. more handsome. It, it's, <laughs> Such a beautiful kit. And, you know, these guys, they're all right as well. So we've had Declan Rice, Marcus Rashford, James Madison as well. I think Reckon. it suits you better, though. Oh, I was just about to ask you who wore it better. Yeah. <laughs> Say that one more time, Georgia. Thank you. What Are was you that? for Kyle? <laughs> you, who would you vote for out of those three and me? Who's <clears> on <throat> the back of your shirt? Right, OK. No, we're going to come to this. No one right now. OK. So when we had Chloe Kelly on... Jill said she was going to get one of Chloe's shirts to wear at the game, all right? Okay. And I asked Chloe, I said, oh, am I going to get one? She said, no. And I said, don't worry, I'm going to get one of George's. So can would I... Would you like mine? I, I would absolutely love it. Or is it, it just to take... No, no, no. <laughs> I, 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 no, no, no. I want to... I, OK, I want we can do. We yeah? can make that oh. happen. Yes. Well, as Kyle kind of calms down, um, we've had <laughs> so many messages, not just from the three Lions, we've had them from tennis, athletics, Formula One, rugby, you name it, we've had the messages. So let's have a look at some of them all. Well, Hi, we'll it's Bakayo here, wishing you all the best at the World Cup and I hope you can bring it home again. So good luck. Hey, to all the Lionesses, I just wanted to send you a message wishing you all the very best for the upcoming World Cup. I'm sure you're going to smash it, be yourselves, work hard, put everything into it and enjoy it. All the best. Hey Lionesses, just wanted to wish you the best of luck for the World Cup. We will all be behind you, we'll all be watching and I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> just want to wish the Lionesses a massive good luck for the World Cup this summer. Um, it's going to be an awesome tournament, enjoy every minute and a massive good luck. Let's go, girls. Good luck, girls. Oh, isn't that lovely? It's great. That support, it means a lot. And you guys have been getting in touch as well. Continue to do that. I keep on saying this. Hashtag Lionesses down under. Any videos, send them in. We love watching them and yep. we love showing all of the girls as well that support from home. And we like reading those messages out. And we've got a few questions, uh, haven't we, Jill? So, quick fire. George, are you ready for this? Okay. Jill, you ready? off you go. Okay, so Jem got in touch on Instagram and wants to know what's the best prank you've played on a teammate? Oh. Can you remember any? They're never like big ones. They're yeah. always just like little harmless ones. So it might be scaring someone, hiding someone's clothes, <laughs> taking people's shoes. <laughs> you're thinking of someone yeah. now because you're smiling. <laughs> um, Robux culprit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because she bites back so much. So we love it. Yeah. She does get annoyed easily. Yeah. 
We've had Alana Riggs and she wanted to ask you, compared to 2019, how different has your role evolved in the squad and how have you adapted to it? Very good question. Mm. Um, I think, although I'm still young, you kind of automatically have that level of experience. And especially in this group now, we've kind of lost some of our old ones. Experience. Um, <laughs> <laughs> experience. So, yeah, it allows some of us to be able to step up and we've got to make that transition. So the likes of, yeah, the ones that are my age, Kira, got to kind of step, step up and take the responsibility. Um, and I think this year, especially at Bayern, I've kind of adapted into more of a leadership role. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, being more confident and comfortable to be able to speak up, to communicate um, and, yeah, just not being afraid of the situation. Yeah, great answer. And we also had Hannah on Instagram. She wants to ask, what do you usually do after a game? Oh, after a game, usually just chill out. Um, so at a club, um, there's often one person hosting and we'll just go around for food and chill. Because um, after a game, you, you sleep so bad. So we kind of just socialise, um, yeah, food, and then by that time you're tired. Um, and here, um, I'll be having some some nice food after the game, <laughs> that's the way to say it. Um, and yeah, probably just chilling out. I've always got Kira in my ear after a game because she can't sleep. And yeah, so yeah, I'll probably have a... And last one, Laura wants to know, what has surprised you the most in Australia or about Australia? Ooh, how big it is. Yeah. That's really surprised me. Obviously, you always know that it's big, but when you're here, you don't realise how big and how long it actually takes to get here. Yeah. It felt like about five days. <laughs> it felt like I'd missed five days on a flight. Oh, um, I but yeah, I think, and the actual lifestyle would be unreal to live here. Yeah. Like the weather, everything's close. There's a bit of everything. I do think that everybody seems so like fit and healthy. I've been going running on a morning just to drop that in there. And there's so many people out exercising. First time so. since the final. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> right, we've got one more question for you, OK? Now, it's going to sound maybe a little bit weird because I don't know what the question is. Jill doesn't know what the question is. And that's because, well, they're random and they're in here, OK? That's because ah, your okay. teammates and the staff I've been writing some anonymous questions and we're going to get you to pick one of them. Okay. You don't know which one. We don't know which one's which. Open it for us okay. and then you can read it out and answer for us. Whatever the question is, and like I said, completely random. We don't have a clue who has done these, who has... Uh, I think the way I've opened the envelope kind of sums me up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, that's all right. It's about the question that's in there, even though you've Ooh. destroyed the envelope. What does it say? When you are 80 years old, what will matter to you the most? Oh, wow. I didn't write that one. Yeah. That's, that, is <laughs> that is too, too deep. <laughs> what what um, will matter to you the most then? I think by that time, I would say family. Um, I think they still matter to me now, but hopefully by when I'm 80 years old, I would have my own family. I'd be able to tell the grandkids where I've been, the places that I've been to, and hopefully I'd be able to show them some silverware. Oh, wow. You know what? I, I brought a tissue. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I'd get a sentimental I saw you blow your nose with that earlier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's um, in the left can pocket. Can I borrow it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got, we got quite deep there, didn't we? Uh, it's quite, quite tense. Um, we know that the excitement is obviously building as well to the game tomorrow. So let's try and break all of this tension from the very deep answer and the fact that there's a huge game tomorrow as well. We thought we'd bring in a bit of a fun challenge, didn't we, Jill? Yes, so we're going to do a bad jokes challenge. So Georgia, Kyle, there should be some Just lovely down there. Uh, yeah. cards beside you. And what we're going to do is we're going to go around one by one and the last one to laugh is the winner. Okay. So no laughing or you're out. Okay. No laughing. Oh, this is going to be hard for you. Right. You're always laughing, Georgia. Who's starting? I'll go first and okay. then we'll work to the left. What did the ocean say to the beach? Nothing. It just waved. <laughs> Could have answered that one for you. Right, I'll go next then. Um, did you hear about the magic tractor? It turned into a field. <laughs> Georgia? What do you call a man with leaves in his underpants? Russell. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even I my think... thing, but I just made you laugh. Oh, yeah, no, that's one of your jokes. 
was it actually not? Well, it was slightly, it was worded slightly oh. differently. Okay, right. Well, you made us both laugh with I that one. I think I win with that one. I All think right. you're the winner then. This was, what do you call a man that plays with leaves? And what was it? Russell. Oh, okay. But the oh, actual yeah. joke is, because that's my joke. Okay. So when someone says, tell me a joke. That's that one. That's, yeah. Right, well, I wow. think George have actually won. We haven't got a signed shirt to give you as a prize, <laughs> no. but well done. Yeah. Anyway, that's enough nonsense for <laughs> one day. Thanks so much to everybody for joining us. And can we get a big round of applause for the legend, Georgia Stanway. Now and we'll be taking... Two. Oh, for us too? Yeah. Oh, thank oh. you. Oh, it's the first time we've had that. Thank exactly. you, Georgia. <laughs> now we're taking the day off tomorrow to focus on the match. We'll be back on Sunday for all of the reaction to England's first game of the tournament. They're taking on Haiti, so do not miss that. We will be back. I'm not going to reveal who the player is because it'll be one of the star performers from the game, all right? So who knows? Georgia, we, we could have you back on Sunday, possibly. We'll I see. Hope so. We'll see. We'll have we'll to see. get some better jokes, maybe. <laughs> yeah, if she's I think back. so. I think so. Don't forget to send us your reaction from the match using the hashtag Lionesses Down Under. And because we've had so many good luck messages, we want to get you fired up for the game. We're going to show you some more. And I think thanks for watching. And all that's left to say is Come, Come on, England! England! Hi Lionesses, just want to wish you all the best of luck. You made us so proud during the Euros and you've inspired a whole generation. So keep doing the amazing work that you do. And whatever happens at the World Cup, you do us all so proud. So get out there, enjoy it and be in the moment. Hey, it's Jessica Ennis Hill. Now I just wanted to wish you Lionesses the best of luck. You are incredible with all you've achieved so far and how much you've not only just captured the nation, but you've inspired so many young girls along the way. And it's so incredible to see that kind of reaction across the country. Um, I just want to wish you the best of luck. I think you're all incredible. You're going to go out there and you're going to smash it, but enjoy it in the process. And make us all proud like you always do and good luck. Hey Lionesses, it's Alfie Hewitt here. I just wanted to wish you all the very best of luck. The whole nation will be behind you, supporting you all the way from afar. Um, go get them and I hope we can uh, get the title soon. Good luck for the World Cup. Have fun, enjoy it, because before you know it, you'll be back at home thinking I wish I was in Australia with all the girls. Bring it home. 